Hello, fans and friends and others. I'm Anne Marie. <laughs> I'm no, we have no. No enemies. frenemies. We have frenemies. frenemies. Sure, I'm Anne Marie Eigner, one of the Boomer Broads with attitude. I'm Janet Prensky, the other Boomer Broad with just as much attitude, if not more. Thank and you. I noticed you dressed for the occasion today. All in black. Always. <laughs> there is something. Is there a message there? There isn't a boomer broad around who doesn't understand the magic I, of all black. I know, and I, I've committed you're a wild. final sin. I've Horizontal stripes <laughs> and colors, you're whacked. I don't know what you were thinking. I know, thinking. I went crazy today. Yeah. I went oh, if today. anything, And then we instruct, we instruct our producers not to shoot from, you know, just shoot from here up. To shoot from here <laughs> up. Because my hairline is fantastic, and it always has been. The new do. So what's our subject of du jour? Guilty pleasures. I've got many. You? Do you have a lot of guilty pleasures? So you don't have a lot of guilt. No, that's And I problem. have a lot of They're guilt. They're all just plain old pleasures. Chocolate covered raisins. Let's start with those. <laughs> First of all, all right, well, what's, where, how is that a guilt? Where, why do you feel guilty about it? Just because if you're overeating, a bad yeah, thing? I feel eat chocolate covered. I, I used to eat them by the bag full. Honestly, I used to keep them like in my the side of my bed. So do you bed. still eat them like all, no. and no one sees? And I you. want them. No, I eat popcorn. No butter, no salt. Instead, that's what that's I get. Instead. Like Kraft macaroni and cheese, that to me would be a guilty eating. You don't pleasure. get to judge other people's guilty pleasures. <laughs> no, I don't think you need to. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think you get to. My ask guilty judgment. pleasures more center on popular culture because as we. You probably learned by watching it's the show. Very I'm, culture. I'm very shallow. <laughs> very and culture. I watch a lot of television because I don't have much of a life. I live vicariously through others. So I'm shallow. I don't have much of a life. And Thus, reality television to me is the ultimate guilty pleasure. The I ultimate. I heard that your favorite reality television show. Hoarders. I'm in shock, shock, shock. <laughs> it's embarrassing. And I really shouldn't even admit it because now people are going to think horrible. less of me. Although I, I, although my favorite is The Biggest Loser, so. Well, there you go. See, yeah, there's something. You're right. Let me tell you something. Hoarders and The Biggest Loser have something in common. They make you feel better about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay? If nothing else, I'm not a hoarder. And if nothing else, you're not 400 pounds. <laughs> So, you know, you know, day but you feel like 400 pounds. You feel like 400 pounds, whether you're 20 pounds overweight or like Well, that's a, pounds. that's a different story, but you know you're not, and you look at those people, and you always say to yourself, how did they let themselves get to that point? I would never let myself get to oh, that point. I'm on my I way. I look at a hoarder who, you know, suddenly they're on, they're digging out her trash, and they say, holy Toledo, here's the skeleton of a cat. She's going, I've been looking for that cat for six <laughs> years. And I'm like, well, that's I'm just, certainly not that bad. That is so horrible to me. <laughs> I love it. It's I love disgusting. It. Mm, I love them all. I have an entire, I have all the reality. The Real Housewives. Oh, come on. The Real Housewives. That, my God, that's fantastic. Then there's um, Celebrity Rehab. Have you ever watched that show? I'm just petting the Dog. We, by the way, the we quiet have, dog, we have by had the, way. the good, the only one the you dog. like, the one you like. <laughs> That's not true. <clears throat> we have had a great deal of call on our uh, Facebook page for more Lucy and Ricky, which is a little insulting, okay, obviously, right, to us. Less right. us, more dogs. All Thank right, you. All right, come here. But get Ricky come up here. Come here, Ricky. Oh. Show them yourself. Oh, little Mister, Mister, how are you? Oh, he's in shock. He's a little frightened of television. He's not really ready. <laughs> he's a little camera shy. Television. And Lucy, if she knew. Lucy, who's Lucy usually the... pokes her head in un unannounced or Ricky, unsolicited. Ricky, what's your guilty pleasure, honey? Alpo? When you're not eating I am, do you sneak chewy. some Alpo on the chewy. side? Oh, the All right, carry on. Carry okay, carry on. I also, as you know, because uh, one of us uh, does a little work before the show while the other does diddly do. I did a little research on guilty pleasures. Should I show? Here's my diddly do. By, yeah, it's nice. Way. It's nice. I did a little research and diddly I went don't. online and MSN.com did an entire survey of its uh, readers asking them what they're guilty. Uh oh, look what your good dog is doing. Oh, oh eating a, a I spot must say that, tissue. That <laughs> nice. Tissue Sorry, you missed on it. On this crack of choice. Yes, it is. Yes, they are. Um, and MSN asked their uh, readers yes. what their guilty pleasures were. And I thought I would share a couple, and some of them peaked and reminded me of some of mine, too. One being The Price is Right, game shows are definitely a guilty play. I sometimes find myself something. watching The Family Feud, and I can't believe no, it. No, that's a lot. Well, I said. Jeopardy, I understand. You can't judge my you're guilty You're right, you're right. But yeah. Jeopardy, I understand. Oh, you're Jeopardy, Schmeppardy, you don't know one of the answers, at least in I Family do. Feud. You know, you know what is you know name a Campbell's soup, and you can say and the family, chicken. The families you know are all so odd too. They are, they are. But again, Loosely doesn't it make you feel sometimes it's like the former family, Anne Marie. 
and again, I hate to judge. But. I do have half stepchild. I was just going to say, sometimes the families on Family Feud are like, this is my former half stepsister from my previous, you know, cousin's marriage. There's a lot of incest, I think, going on in Family Feud. I wouldn't be surprised. But yes, Explains I happen the to... the answers to yeah, the questions. Yes, it certainly does, but I happen to like game shows. Okay, give us your, uh, all right, your uh, research. Here's a Petula Clark. Ah, oh, wow. yes, baby. When's the last time? <laughs> and both Beth and Dan are looking at us like the two. The two look hard. Mm, you have to be eighty to know her. Uh, Dawson's Creek. Come on, kids. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. They're like oh, yeah, we Creek. love Dawson's Creek. <laughs> Copacabana by Barry Manilow. Oh, oh my God! If it comes on the radio, I'm turning it up. And but would you want someone see? You don't say. Would you want someone seeing you though, listening to Copacabana? No, to not to in my head. That's why sure. you do it in the privacy of your own car. By the same notion, wham, where have they been? Wham, where have they been? You remember? No, I don't even Wake remember. Me wham. Before you go -go? Oh, yes. Wake me up before you go-go? Oh, yeah. Wake me up before you go-go? Oh, come that. on. Xanadu. Ooh, I love Olivia the name. Olivia Newton-John. I yeah. love the name. Donny Osmond. Can I say, not one of I love anything by Olivia Newton-John. I liked anything she sang. Well, I loved her in Greece, mm -hmm. and I loved her singing in Greece. You know, we oh, you remember we opened the Olivia Newton-John store in yes, the atrium in Chestnut Hill. That was another life, wasn't it? Yes, it was. We were very close to Olivia. You should, <laughs> nothing was more depressing than the photo at the end of the event of me next to Olivia Newton-John. Oh, that was. I've never been so. You know, ugly. we have other ugly. We have other things to do on the show. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Then we won't we won't do any more. There are some great ones. We, we do have a question. Uh, uh, question. But Millie somebody. Vanilli, excuse me, one last guilty pleasure, <laughs> Millie Vanilli. Thank you very much. All right, okay. fine. Go ahead. That's the opposite of chocolate. Oh, and I want to chocolate know, vanilla. Catherine Cuomo, one of our great Boomer Broad friends, wrote in with hers, Dateline to Catch a Predator. A classic That's your guilty, guilty pleasure. pleasure. Ooh, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Here's from, thank you, by the way, for those cards and letters. Um, <clears throat> dear Boomer Broads, this is from Lauren from Peabody. 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 Don't mom, you hate when you watch television yeah, and it's you know, a and voiceover? They say Peabody. Peabody, you know they're not from Boston. All right, My mother is getting me married to the most wretched man on the planet. He actually could have been one of my exes. He doesn't work and drinks all day. Uh, my mother is absolutely Lucky head man. over heels for him and cannot see what a loser he is. How can I convince my mother she's making a huge mistake by walking down the aisle with him? Mm, that's a good one. That's a good one. And well, I we know get these tough Family crisis Couldn't questions. Could you just say, hi, Boomer Broads, how are you feeling today? <laughs> <laughs> we could just answer that question. Good. Well, very shallow. All here. right, let's very, see. Very, very shallow. I don't think you can. No, you got to let her make her own mistakes. I space. think, you know, just as if it was, if the tables were turned and it was you making this decision, your mother this would have mistake. to hold herself back and say, this is my child. I've let her grow up. She needs to make her own mistakes. I and think I think you, the same goes with your mother. I think you can say we disagree, but I, I think you have to let it go after that. I, I think you can definitely, you can express your opinion, but I would not count on being able to change Plus, your mother if in any way, shape, or If she or goes form. ahead and gets married, then you're stuck with a very grumpy new stepfather who knows you can't stand him. So you want to be really careful well, how you, you would, do that. You do. You definitely don't want your stepfather to know that you disapprove of the fact that he drinks and lolls around the house all day, <laughs> although I don't it know why, work. why he would think you would love that. Um, Okay. But, oh, oh, okay. Just moving right along. <laughs> okay, I had more We're to done. say, but okay. Oh, Lucy. this is a great question. Come here, Lucy. We're going to do point counterpoint. We love these. Hates me. I, I love know. these that Dan and Beth have put together. This one is such a. This will teach you something about Janet. Mm -hmm. Like immediately. Watch your face. Pulp or pulp free? <laughs> First of all, <laughs> I just picked it out of the Isn't jar. Isn't that funny? I have a phobia. First of all, most fruit. I have, have a to phobia. Wrap it up, you know. oh, oh, okay. I have a fruit phobia, but one of my greatest fruit phobias is, in fact, orange juice pulp, which I don't. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Here she is. <laughs> which we'll I feature don't... her next week. Yes, I don't even understand the concept when they created uh, added pulp. Tropicana. Extra pulp. Extra pulp. I, I almost had a heart attack. So, so no pulp. No now pulp. that you've learned that about Janet, uh, please send us your guilty pleasures. Send us your points counter. But send us your issues. Facebook, The Boomer Broads, or www.theboomerbroads.com. You did that very well. Thank you very much. And don't uh, forget that, about Turning Point TV, our new most favorite we love uh, them. web they're television wonderful. site. They're fantastic. It's all about boomers. They have some great ones, and they've been featuring us, and we're most appreciative. A big shout-out to Turning Point TV. Thanks, everybody.